ligada? Sim. Acho que você pode desligar seu vídeo. Tá. A câmera. Okay, Leo, I think that you can start right now. Five minutes is it's enough. Okay, hello everyone. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm presenting my thesis proposal, uh, which is entitled Emotions and Software Development using social media to improve software quality. Uh, my advisor is Professor Henrique Madeira. And uh, a little about me. I have master's degree in systems and computing at Federal University of Rio Grande do Norte. Uh, in 2017, now, I'm professor at Federal Institute of Education, Science and Technology of Rio Grande do Norte since 2013 in the information systems area. And my areas of interest, mainly web development and software engineering. So, the overall definition of software quality is when the, the team deliver software in conformance to the specification and that this software meet customer's need. This is an overall definition. Many researchers and professionals have worked to improve software quality, mostly related to technical aspects, but there is a lack of approaches related to software quality involving the developer. This is a critical piece. We all have emotions, and uh, these emotions play a significant role in the life of most people, mainly in professional work. We can express these emotions in various ways, uh, like gestures, voice, facial expressions, and writing text and emojis in social media. Uh, for this particular one, there is a huge amount of data uh, that we can read and use to perform uh, scientific research. The software development is a complex task, so it, it's not only composed by technical abilities, but with human factors, intellectual activities, and cognitive abilities. In the last decade, researchers have tried to quantify and measure how social aspects uh, affect the software development, or how, how developers' emotions can impact the quality of software development or the production of software development. And the research is in its infancy, as I said, uh, is in the last decade. So there is a combination of psychology and software development here. So we still have more four points to cover. Literature review, proposed approach, expected results, and uh, finally the conclusion. So I'm bringing here two approaches of uh, uh, basic emotions. The first one is say, six basic emotions from Paul Ekman and uh, the emotions are anger, fear, disgust, joy, sadness, and surprise. The, these emotions are universal for all human beings, 
and the authors proven these emotions on a trip in Papua New Guinea. So this is a, a first approach. Uh, there are six base emotions. The other approach is called Wheel of Emotions and states eight basic emotions that have presented with no color emotions like in this picture, like optimism, love, submission, uh, contempt, and so on. Uh, a basic emotion is a mix of two primary emotions. For example, love is a mix of joy and trust. Optimism is a mix of joy and anticipation. So this basic emotion is a mix of two primary. An emotion has an opposite. In this wheel, for example, joy has an opposite that is sadness. Uh, trust had an op has an opposite that is disgust. And uh, this this wheel uh, uh, will this will show us the intensity of emotions. For example, serenity emotion is less intense than joy emotion that is less intense than ecstasy emotion. So this is another approach of basic, human basic uh, emotions. Regarding the, the, the area of psychology and software engineering, there is a, a, a few papers that, that cover this, this combination. For example, this first one shows the results of our survey of the experience of developer during the, the, the work and the many results uh, the authors point that the most negative emotional states uh, uh, was frustration and this emotional state had the strongest negative impact on productivity and uh, the opposite the, the the most positive state was enthusiastic and uh, this, this emotional state had the strongest positive impact on productivity. There is another paper that presents the cause of unhappiness for, for developers while developing software. So this was a, a, a large scale survey on GitHub and the, the results. The software developers are slightly happy population and uh, there are more than 200 factors about the causes of unhappiness while developing software. So this is the conclusion of this paper. Uh, another one shows the, the robustness of an algorithm for sentiment detection over social media and the results that, that the authors uh, uh, put in the, the paper is that the, the algorithm is robust enough for this social uh, media. Another paper presented sentiment analysis on Facebook and the results, the, the authors uh, uh, extract words in, in a post and comments and define people's emotions. And they, they, they classified as unhappy happy or emotionless the, the posts or comments for a given user so our approach aims to investigate how the developers affect and moods mined from from their social media may impact on software quality so this is a, a, a interdisciplinary study uh, involving two complex fields like psychology and uh, software engineering and uh, we, we, we define two main hypotheses for the hypothesis one for a given developer the more positive the effect and mood are the higher the quality of software that she or he produce and uh, the second hypothesis is the opposite for a given developer, the more negative the effect and mood are, the lower the quality of software that he or she produces. Of course, this is our first hypothesis. And uh, during the study, 
uh, uh, other hypotheses may, may, may occur. So the validation of these two hypotheses opens a broad range of possibilities to improve software quality that uh, I'll show later. So we plan to, to apply this study in European and Brazilian companies. Regarding the European companies, uh, we plan to, to contact developers using the alumni of the day, and we expect to invite 2,000 developers uh, using this, this approach. And for Brazilian companies, uh, 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 we need to, to, to think more about that, but, but I know uh, 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 some people that, that we can involve. So the proposed methodology is here. So we divide it into five phases. The first phase, we plan to, to, to make an online survey with the developers. To, to collect demographical, professional, psychological, and ethical data to, 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 to start the study. And then uh, in the second step, we plan to perform data mining on developers' social media. Of course, the, the developer must agree with it. Uh, uh, also, we, we, we had concluded the, the data mining we plan to infer emotions and moods for posts, uh, likes, comments, and, and other activities that the, the developer uh, had in the, the social media. The second phase, we plan to perform data mining on code repository of the company. So we need the company agreement. Uh, 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 after that, we plan to perform data mining and uh, the issue tracker of the company to detect software quality and unquality. So we plan to, to discover when a, a, a bug or when a bad smell, for example, was uh, inserted on, the, 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 on a functionality on a, on a, a piece of code, for example. In the, the, the phase three, uh, uh, we, we, we start with the two data sets of the phase one and two. The first data set is about emotions and moods for each developer. And the second data set is for software artifacts. And then we, we plan to, to do an impact analysis. So here we, we, we plan to relate the things and then generates a data set with this relation of sentiment and artifact. In the phase four, we plan to analyze and, 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 uh, and uh, generate the results. And here we, we, we could use, for example, quantitative uh, methods to, to statistically, statistically prove the, the results and uh, at the end, we plan to develop some tools to help companies with this, this regarding this, this context. And that, that, that show you uh, a few of them later. As expected results, for a particular developer, his positive or negative days lead to better or worse source code quality. It's the, the, the big challenge. So once we, we, we can prove that, we can, for example, develop a tool to give in the company automatically and periodically aware of the psychological state of its developers. And the company, for example, could use this information in many ways. Uh, for example, changing the development process for that day for a given developer, uh, offering him to work in pairs, for example. And the uh, other possibility is proposing help with psychologists to, to a given developer. Other expected results that we, we, we can uh, 
we can develop a tool to suggest lower complexity tasks to a given developer based on his uh, psychological state, for example. Another tool to support the quality assurance team. Uh, we plan to warn them about source code more error prone or or this 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 source code or this this functionality uh, developed by a, a developer under bad feelings or under uh, uh, sadness under depression or. We plan to develop a plugin to integrate into companies' continuous delivery tool to measure only source code developer on the positive psychological state or uh, source code carefully tested to, 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 to assure the, the quality. And the conclusion, uh, uh, we propose a new approach at improving software quality through the analysis of developers' psychological state mined from their social media. So this is a, a, a an invasive way to 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 get information mined, for example, mining for the social media. And the main contributions is explore relations between how developers feel and the quality of software. Uh, that uh, these developers produce and provide a set of tools to support companies to improve their uh, software quality. As future work, uh, we plan to research about psychological effect and moods and its consequence on human behavior, as well as uh, uh, how is this impact on professional work. It is unclear to us. Uh, we plan to research the best algorithms for sentiment detection that suits our case. We plan to do structured literature review about this area and invite a psychology professional of, uh, of uh, a university to do research. And this point is in progress. Uh, we, 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 we did the first contact with this professional. Uh, so there is a lot of open questions about the work yet. Uh, for example, if the developer uh, posts a text on Twitter that uh, uh, had irony or that is just a lie, or if the developers uh, uh, use the social media only to to get information but not to to, to put post nothing. So there is a, 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 a lot of questions about this. Uh, this there is still unclear to us at this moment, but I think it's normal at this stage. Thank you. This was my presentation. Uh, thanks, Le thanks for your presentation. Uh, does anyone have questions? Yes. Can I? Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Leo, for this interesting presentation and the topic itself. I have just like a small question. Uh, what is the time window for extracting the uh, emotion or the state, uh, the mood from the social media and extracting the software uh, quality or unquality? Uh, I mean, for example, if I uh, log in my Facebook and do some comments and posts uh, in the morning, and then I go to my programming mode and uh, start doing some programming stuff in, in the evening. Does it have a correlation now or the time? what is the time? I mean, between those two things. We, we plan to, our main goal is to, to, to achieve this, this correlation. Yeah. Uh, 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 for example, if a developer uh, posts on Twitter on the, the weekend, and uh, the at, at the beginning of the, the week, uh, uh, we we for example we 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 if we can uh, uh, warn the, the the company of the developers 
state of mind at this point. This is our 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 yeah. main objective. Yeah, but I mean, is there any time limits for taking, for example, um, do you take in real time the, the, the emotions and the, the mood on, on social media or different days than the day of programming? I mean, there are different like uh, time time windows, I mean. Well, the, 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 the emotional state is, is, uh, is very volatile. Uh, yeah. And uh, so if we can uh, provide this information to the company in real time is the, yeah. the, 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 the perfect uh, uh, way, but mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is still an open question for us. Yeah, 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 because we don't know how much time does the state or the mental state or the uh, stress, yeah. let's say, uh, stay in the, in the mood of the programmer, yeah. for example. Yeah. yeah, this is a question. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, Leo, I have a question for you. You are planning to use only public social media, Facebook, Twitter. Are you considering to use private social media? Media, social media like uh, the ones that company uses to to, to establish a relation be between their workers not at this time uh, uh, we we plan to use only public social media uh, uh, but uh, we we had a conversation in the, the last week so if uh, regarding if we can we could use the the comments of commits for example to 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 infer emotions too but uh, it, it is not clear to us right now and uh, our proposal is really only to use the public social media like twitter facebook uh linkedin instagram and so on Okay, because because you have to be cautious about your premises. Uh, y y are you assuming that you are assuming what the position about the developer? Because usually they are quite uh, not. They will not tend to post anything related to their jobs, and so you are trying to extract emotions based on the daily and public uh, posts. Right, right. Yes, it's about their lives, not not their jobs. Okay, so there is another problem here because what about privacy? Your work is conflicting with privacy because the success of your your uh, method will conflict with privacy of the user. And how do you you assess the the Yes, uh, uh, in our methodology, uh, in the phase one, the first step is to to perform an online survey with these ethical questions and privacy questions. So the developer must agree with us to to participate in the the, the research. We 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 uh, we don't don't uh, uh, we not plan to perform data mining on every developer of the, the Brazil or Portugal. So the developer must agree with it. Okay. Okay, any, any more questions? Anyone want to ask me something? Um, hello. <clears throat> hello. Uh, my name is Leonardo. Congratulations for your presentation. Uh, in fact, I have a comment about your, uh, your work. And I'm concerned about the effectiveness of an algorithm to measure the emotion of uh, someone based on, on his uh, comments on social media. <coughs> I know there's a lot of research on this, this thematic, but uh, you have to choose a really valid algorithm. So I, yes. I don't know if, it, if there is already uh, a validated algorithm for that. So I, I, I believe it's a, your a problem for your work to 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 handle this problem because if the algorithm doesn't measure the emotion correctly, so your recommendations also will be impacted. Uh, I, I I agree with Charles about the privacy concern, and especially if we go to a company and a personality, I I would not share my 
my comments to the company because he might use this uh, to I don't, I don't know how to say to uh, to get insights about uh, my personal aspects to improve the work. I don't know if, if it's a, a valid uh, thing to do, but it's just my opinion, right? Um, and about the, the algorithm to, to measure the emotions, I, I saw you were doing a systematic literature review on the topic. Uh, do you have any results? No, we didn't start yet. Uh, we plan to do the, the, this literature review, but uh, I read some papers with these algorithms. And uh, last week or this week, we, we, we did a meeting with Professor Henrique Madeira and the Professor Hugo and Catarina. Uh, uh, and, and they uh, share with us this, this concerns about the, the algorithms. So it is really is a big challenge uh, uh, to, to choose an algorithm that are valid and, and give us the correct information, for example. And uh, we don't know yet uh, uh, if this algorithm exists, but it's part of the research. So oh, regarding the social media, uh, it's all public information, right? Uh, uh, even if you uh, uh, don't want the company uh, uh, and the company can look at your social media and read your posts. Uh, uh, but we, we 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 plan to 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 get the developer agreement to do this. So if the developer don't want to participate in the the the, the study, it's okay. But really, I agree with you. This is a big challenge. Uh, uh, for example, uh, if a developer uh, uses social media only to to read, only to 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 like some posts, uh, uh, we need to, to plan another way to get information about this developer. For example, uh, we plan to, to ask him once a day how the, the, how the developer feels, for example, uh, a, a question about uh, how do you feel today or choose an option, for example. Like, uh, if the developer doesn't have uh, uh, a social media or use it only to read and consume information and not to post anything. Uh, okay, well, one left comment. Uh, you, uh, if I understood correctly, you're using a company's database to create a correlation between emotion and software failures and so on, right? Yeah, we plan to, to access this repository. Okay, uh, I believe it's another challenge for your work. I, I don't know if you already have this database or access to companies. Uh, have you asked a company if they're willing to, to share the, the, this information? I don't know if there are uh, some Confidential data. I don't know. Uh, have you asked any company? No, we didn't ask yet. Uh, uh, actually, I was in Coimbra, uh, but uh, I need to to back to Brazil because of uh, the pandemic and the quarantine. So, <laughs> and uh, uh, when I was in Coimbra, we, one of our plans is just to, to, to visit companies and doing this presentation or a more uh, a refined one to, to present the idea and, uh, and, and make the first contact. And we didn't, uh, uh, we didn't contact the companies yet. But it's a plan and then it's another big challenge. So the phase one and two, 
it's is very crucial for for the work okay uh, one last comment uh, i'm also interested in the use of uh, algorithms but in another context my context is program education but i have a saw some studies about the use of uh, analyzing motion based on the or the algorithm that was written by the, the student for example uh, maybe there is are uh, there is a uh, uh, space for researching about how to measure emotions based on on the commits as you said but also on the algorithms on the test failures for example and so on maybe it, it might be more uh sweet than social media just a suggestion okay thank you i uh, didn't think about that yet but I am taking notes right now. Uh, Leo, I have some more comments. I think that you may consider it to filter some online users because we will have different, uh, we will have different characteristics from those users. There will be the one that is a heavily social media user and the ones that are, are, are not. And you have to to or, or or filter those users, or you consider imbalances in your data set. Uh, this is the comment, and I, I I'm not I'm not convinced that using the this the, going the way to use the public social media uh, will be effective as going the, the, the way to use private social media because you can have the, 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 the employer to, to, to allow you the access to the data and it probably will be more effective. I think that you can think a little bit more about this because you have Slack and you have a, a lot of social media, especially in this time that everyone is working remotely it would be much easier to you to, to, to have feelings and, and on those private social media. And also, there is always this bias about I'm not trying to, 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 to be uh, as transparent as I uh, with the others in social media. And I don't know. I'm just doing a brainstorm with you right now. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, I just thinking uh, now, for example, uh, uh, a developer can use Slack or, or another uh, chat uh, software in the company, but only in the formal way. And uh, with, for example, emotionless texts. I don't know. Of course, is is only uh, uh, my thinking, but I don't know if the the, the, the developer expressed these emotions in a, 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 in the a, a, a professional tool like that. I don't know. It's only the brainstorming, like you said. Okay. Any more questions? Hi, Charles, maybe I have a comment, not not actually a question. Well, I, I share most of the questions, uh, not only Leo, uh, Leo's questions, but uh, most of the questions already uh, uh, raised to, to, to Leo's presentation. Um, I, I, well, my first comment is it is not bad when a PhD student have a lot of questions ahead of him because uh, uh, it means that there is a huge space to focus and to select, uh, um, let's say, the, the real tar target of the research work when the, 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 the thesis is really, <clears throat> uh, really started after the, the, this phase of thesis project. Um, so it is not something, uh, I'm talking to Leo, but not only to Leo, to all, all the other students. Uh, it is not a problem to have too many questions. Uh, it means you have a huge menu to select where we are going to target. The problem is the opposite, when we don't have a lot of open questions and it seems that we are repeating 
the 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 work that others did before so this is the first uh, first comment obviously <clears throat> when we have too many questions and a lot of uncertainties um we should be careful because uh, uh, the, the, let's say the relevance of the work and uh, let's say the feasibility of the of the research work could be could be an issue uh, in in this case, it is a uh, uh, inter, very interdisciplinary work. So, like we'll, we'll I mentioned, we are talking with the, our colleagues in, in in the research center. You mentioned uh, Hugo Oliver and Catarina Silva already, uh, because they are doing work on uh, uh, getting uh, information on the the emotion of people, and they they work also on. Uh, uh, natural language, language processing, which is important for us. Uh, but in addition to this, let's say, interdisciplinary, that is the connections with disciplinary that are really close to us because we are from software engineering and they are more from artificial intelligence. Uh, so we, we, we talk the same language. We are also talking with people from psychology uh, faculty. And uh, we... Uh, and learning that there are a lot of open questions already from their side. So it is clear that emotions affect motivation. It is clear that motivation uh, affects the way we, uh, we work and uh, the effectiveness of our work and the quality of our work. And uh, if we are committed or not engaged in the work, it, re it is really dependent on, on the emotions. Uh, and that is our target. We want to uh, go from a, a view of the emotions of the software developers uh, to some monitoring and some ways to improve the quality of the of the software. And in this pipeline, it is a very long pipeline. We have a lot of uncertainties. Uh, it is not clear that the emotions really affect, for example, uh, human error models. That is. And the positive or negative emotions, people will tend to um, make more errors, for example, which is very relevant in software development. So there is a, a huge space of uh, very, very interesting uh, things to, to research. Obviously, Leo proposed, uh, let's say, a complete scheme, which is important to explain the idea, for example, to to companies. Companies are pretty much interested in this uh, aspect, uh, not only related to the well-being of the software developers, because we have a lot of uh, episodes of uh, breakdowns and, uh, let's say, intense fatigue in people from software engineering and software developers in companies, but because they know that the mood and the, the, the feelings of people, they know in a, let's say, in an <clears throat> informal perspective, really affect uh, the productivity and the quality of the work. So having these kind of tools to, to provide the companies with a, a view on, the, on how people are feeling, it, it seems important. Uh, obviously, there are a huge amount of problems. The, the, the privacy issue that some of you mentioned is really uh, an important problem. There are a lot of paradox. People are very, let's say, protective of uh, their own privacy, but at the same time are sharing really amazing things in social media. Uh, so there is a kind of a schizophrenic behavior. You know, on one hand, we tend to protect a lot uh, our private space, but on the other hand, we are kind of anxious to share small things that are big things and important things from related to our feelings. But some of you mentioned that, uh, well, if I know that the target or one of, or someone in the audience are my job, my boss, uh, people in my company, maybe I, I react in a different way. Yeah, and th that is true. So there is a huge amount of very, very interesting problems to research on. And uh, uh, most likely, Leo will uh, select some of them uh, because maybe. All, all, all the thing he, he, he presented is a huge, a huge research space. But uh, let's see. It depends on our ambition. Uh, he, he is going to be in, in this. Well, so this is my just my comments. I don't have. 
I have the question, the questions you all have, but I don't have specific questions to, to, to the work that we is doing. But uh, very good. I, I, will, I would like, and I also thank the, the, the questions you raised because uh, they are very important for us. Any more questions? Yes, I, I have I have one actually. Uh, Leo, hello. Can, can you hear? Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Um, I I had some trouble sometimes when you were commenting, and I don't know if you mentioned uh, the fact of using um, extracting. I mean, sentiment analysis from music. Uh, did did you mention this this approach as a complement to extracting for, from for music? From, yeah, from, from music. music. Mm -hmm. From what yeah. developers are, are listening. For instance, yeah, uh, 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 I thought about that, but not seriously. <laughs> it's I, I'm I'm mentioning that because um, I also had some some work with uh, Professor Hugo Gonzalo Oliveira. Um, my work is more related to IoT. And there were there was a point where I used also sentiment analysis from online social networks for IoT. And during maybe two years, I worked with Professor Hugo Oliveira. And uh, in the end of our work, of course, it was a big challenge. Uh, we didn't uh, we were we were not able to cover everything related to sentiment analysis because in text you have the problem uh, with uh, different languages. For instance, you. Yeah. I think it will be easier for you to find tools for English than for Portuguese. And um, uh, last week, someone from our research group posted something that I didn't know, and I think it will be useful for me back in time. Uh, so it's about uh, one professor in Sizuk who works for sentiment analysis in music. And uh, I, I don't know if you are aware of this this work also. And um, the name of the professor is uh, Rui Pedro Paiva. Rui? And uh, the project, Rui Pedro Paiva. Okay. And they, they were working on a project called Mood Detector. From music. Yes, and uh, for instance, when I was working uh, in sentiment analysis, I would be glad to have this information because, uh, uh, as I told you back in time, I was looking for anything that could give me the emotion from, from users. So I didn't really care if it was from the text from online social media. Uh, we also had a questionnaire that collected data from, from uh, users and uh, as I told you, I would be really great, uh, happy back in time if I was aware of this project, Mood Detector, which is from someone from Sizuk. And um, if I understood well their uh, objective, it was to try to detect emotions in the music. And the software developers normally work uh listen music and uh, maybe there you can also have a way to extract uh, their sentiment their emotions Ngombo, may i ask a question to you yeah please uh, uh, what you mean is uh, analyzing the music you are listening to uh, you can infer uh, how, how, how you are feeling for example if, uh, if you yes. listen a lot of fado maybe you are sad if you list, uh, listen to samba, maybe you are happy. Yeah, for instance. Okay, okay I see. I see. I see. Yeah, for instance. And uh, I mean, it's not just an, an idea like this, is because uh, we have these tools in our research uh, uh, institute. I mean, there are. Uh, That's a very good are, suggestion. Yes. Exactly. Uh, so there are people there uh, that maybe can help us. I mean, 
because they they must have already it. they have some some huge experience on that field good yes okay, thank, thank you thank you and, do, and we know and we know that software engineers love listening music mm -hmm. while they're working mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so <true>. just <laughs> pick something there and uh yeah try to make the utmost of it good uh, I have a question for you. Uh, uh, I'm not aware about this this paper, but the music is 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 this music information uh, uh, public, or it's a private one? The, the developer must inform the song how it works. Mm, yes, I, I, actually, I didn't work for the project. It's, it's also something that I I I got. Uh, last week, just last week, I was reading uh, okay. the the Sizuk page, and uh, yeah, and someone told me that there were a project in Sizuk, which is called Mu Detector. This project was from uh, 2015, and uh, in this project, their aim was to try to uh, detect emotions in the music that people may be listening. So, and um, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm also sharing with you the link of the project in the Sizuk page, so that you can go and maybe get more information on that. Okay, thank you. Right, and um, yeah. I think that's all for me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ngombo. That's a very good suggestion. We are going to, to talk to Rui Paiva. Uh, you you are welcome. Yeah. So, any more questions? Anyone want to make any more comment? No, so I, I, I ask you if you want to, to participate. To absolutely presents some idea, feel free to, to fulfill the form that I send you in the chat. And I think that that is it. Thank you everyone for presenting this meeting. And uh, I, we are, I'm not sure if we have a, a call to peers in the next week, uh, because we still don't have anyone to present, but I will, Keep you posted in the next few days, okay? Thank you, anyone. Thank you, Charles. Thank you for keeping organizing the talk to peers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye bye. Good day.